Welcome back to the channel, guys. Like always, it's review time. Now, unfortunately, I am going to cut this review up in a couple parts for you to make your life easier. Um, I don't have the box for this. I've actually been using this keyboard for quite some time. I actually switch between keyboards depending on what it is that I'm using. I happen to get this from either the Best Buy. Yes, it was Best Buy that I purchased this for a whopping $29.99. Sometimes you can find it on sale for a little bit cheaper, but it is an all-in-one keyboard with a nice size trackpad. So with that being said, um, let's go ahead and get to this review. I'm gonna talk about it for a few minutes and let you know, is it worth actually purchasing? So for starters, like I always say in these videos, um, for transparency, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this button off so I don't press any buttons. Now it does have a dongle that comes with it, but it is currently inside of my computer right now. So I'm not going to take it out. It's a lot of work the way I have my computer set up. But right here, it does take two AAA batteries. And when you purchase this device, it has a actual slot for your dongle. Worst case scenario, if you decide not to use it or to actually travel with it. Now, one of the reasons that I actually got this keyboard, is if you remember one of my reviews, I actually have another keyboard. As a matter of fact, give me one moment. I'm going to bring it out for you guys. See if I can find it. You know, it's okay. I will look for the keyboard later. But anyway, I had a JLab keyboard that I wanted to compare this to. Now, the JLab keyboard works perfectly fine. Um, now, I did add these little hooks to the back of this so that it can actually sit up instead of being flat. So it's easier to see with my eyes. That's not something that it comes with. And if you don't want to damage your product, then I don't suggest you put these on here. But I have so many types of uh, keyboards in general that this is what you see. So you do have your physical home button right here, your, your uh, headset button. This is some hot keys that are preset if you have it hooked up to the PC. You have your actual volume up and down right here. You have your uh, uh, volume, what is this called? Mute button right here. So you have enough of keyboard so that you could do everything from it. Now, of course, I do use a uh, mouse that I have right here as a just in case. The trackpad doesn't feel bad at all. I'm gonna show you that in real time as I talk to you in this video, but on my actual computer. So just stay tuned for that part. But like I was saying before, unfortunately I don't have the box, but it has majority of the keys that you're gonna need. So if obviously for you gamers out there, this isn't really for you guys because you might want some hot keys or some specialized keys with the keyboard to actually be able to play online games. This is strictly for productivity. Now, another reason why I like this, and this is the most important reason outside of batteries, which I don't mind because they last for, I don't know, I had these batteries in this keyboard for at least a half a year and I haven't replaced them yet. One of the reasons why I love this keyboard is because the connectivity. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any Bluetooth, but it does have the, and the buttons don't actually light up, but it does have the ability where um, my current computer seems to not really do well with wireless and Bluetooth dongles and things like that. So occasionally, you know, if you have a, a bad connection or a computer that's not as compatible with certain software as others, you can type like this. And what ends up happening is that some of the keys don't pop up in the search menu. I know we all experience that with certain keyboards where you know you press the button, but you have to second guess yourself because some of the words aren't quite there. This keyboard seems to do a very good job, even at longer distances, of being able to stay connected. So with that being said, again, you're looking at a $30 keyboard that's affordable, very easy to use. You can get a two-year replacement plan through Best Buy for 10 bucks if you get it through them. It's very, very convenient, and I really do suggest it. Now, with that being said, I'm going to cut away. We're going to go ahead to the part where I'm going to use the keyboard in real time, and we're going to look at the actual website to see more features that it has. Because unfortunately, I don't have the box or the instructions. Hey, guys. So I am back again, like always, like just like I promised. <laughs> um, I forgot to mention one part about this keyboard. I'm going to put it up here and see if I could turn it in the camera so you can see it. Right here where my thumb is, there's an on and off click button right here. So if you turn it on and off, the light will light up right here for a moment. Oh, see if I can find it, here we go. It'll light up right here, let you know to signify that the keyboard is on. Eventually it will go off, but the keyboard is currently on. Let me show you how, because I'm gonna go ahead and tap the home key, and as you see, it is working just fine. And when you use the touchpad, 
like I was saying, uh, I don't think there's any way to actually uh, change the speed itself of the mouse pad. I know, I don't know, actually, now I think about it, I'm not sure there's many keyboards that allow you to do that in general. It could be, I don't know. But this is for the people that are looking for something that's very responsive and very reliable that could take a beating and still look good. And on top of that, like I showed you earlier, the keys are extremely easy to clean. I just take a little blower, psh, can of air, done, wipe it down, nothing to worry about. Uh, I do have other more expensive keyboards that are in the hundreds of dollars, and I stopped using them because one, I, I hate cords, that's the first thing, and two, to have to pop off buttons and clean all around it, it's a lot of times it looks a beautiful looking keyboard, but the amount of maintenance is like, listen, it, it's harder to clean the keyboard sometimes than it is to clean your own sneakers. But anyway, back to the topic at hand, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this home button right here. Cause actually I'm gonna click this, I'm gonna hit the home button and it takes me directly from the web. So the button that we talked about right here, the little home button right there, that actually takes you to your main page depending on the web browser that you're using as you can see. So I'm just gonna tap back again, go back to this page. This is the all-in-one. Now there are other Logitech computers. I mean, not Logitech. There are, uh, well Logitech has their own. I actually have this one too right here for $20. But the one I ended up getting is basically $29.99. You can find it at different prices, sometimes on sale. Uh, occasionally you'll get them also at higher prices if you go to obviously Micro Center, the direct person that you buy it from. But again, I'm a person where I check online and make sure the Best Buy has it, like right here. And I make sure it's in stock so I can just either pay for it, pick it up, or just go to the store and pick it up. Now I do have the Target's foldable keyboard. Uh, well, I used to have that. I actually gave that to someone. Ah, I did a review on it. So forget it. I already did a review on it. <laughs> I totally forgot. But let's go ahead and look at some specifications for this guy right here. Um, like it says, light, lighting type, no light. So unfortunately, if you're trying to use this keyboard in the dark, you better know key placement because there's no light up whatsoever. That's unfortunate, but it isn't life or death. I didn't come here for aesthetic. I came here for functionality and it works great. And it looks good with the map, my desktop map and things like that. Everything just looks really nice in my opinion, the color scheme, things like that. Um, like I said, all in one with a trackpad, just so you know, if you go up here, you have your left click and your right click, of course, right here on the bottom, but you can also tap in the pad itself, just like any trackpad to highlight whatever it is that you want to. And this is some of my search history for Best Buy. I buy a lot of stuff from them. Lightning type, no. Uh, numeral key, numeric keypad, no. So you don't have the keypad separate on the side. They're talking about the full keyboards that actually have the numbers on the right hand side you don't have that you just have the ones above the cordy and the letters and that's good enough for me that's what i'm used to anyway i hate the keyboard on the side it just adds too much keys for me touchpad of course yes keyboard type keypad palm rest no so palm rest uh normally some of these keyboards come with a little piece on the bottom that can snap on magnetically or in the front of it it doesn't have that so if you're one of those people where you're trying to get maximum comfort by putting your wrist down Unfortunately, this isn't the keyboard for you for that aspect, but if you want to just sit back and just use your keys like so, you have no problem whatsoever. And, that, and that's an aspect that I like. I can just go ahead and click on this and then, whoops, I did left click, I mean right click. So I just click on that and just slide down. That's extremely easy to use in my opinion. It's very flexible and it's, it's sensitive to the touch. So if you're one of those people where, like I said, you can't change the sensitivity of the touch, I don't think on this keyboard, but you are, but it is sensitive enough where if you slide your finger up and down while scrolling, it could be very, very smooth. I was erratic with it anyway, just to show you that it works even with my erratic movements. So it's very, it's, it's very functional in real time. Uh, no spill resistant. If this gets wet, you want to have a problem. Uh, keyboard features, contour design. That's not really a feature. Uh, cushion palm rest. So it's honestly, I don't really consider those features at all. It's just more so, you know, for a person that does decide to put their palm on it, it will work. But the, the, the keyboard itself isn't really that big. So I don't know why they kind of said cushion palm rest. I, I don't know where the cushion is. Maybe it's something in the box that I didn't quite get, but I don't recall seeing the cushion. Uh, number of keys, 104. So it's a little bit more than a half keyboard. You know how some of them are like, uh, I forget the amount of keys and that's the cats fighting each other. So let me finish this video so I can break them up. Uh, key switch behavior, linear. Internet keys, yes, multimedia keys. Multimedia is typically the volume up, volume down. It's the mouse icon. It's also the, uh, so let me put this right here. 
Yep, and that's left click. So you also have a physical left click button right here, which I don't know why you have that, being honest, because you have the clicks over here. So but some people like scrolling left click with their left hand, make it easier for them so their hand is always rested on the keys and they're able to move simultaneously faster. I'm a novice when it comes to keyboard. I just get what I like for looks. And then I, as I use it, I understand the functionality and just end up sticking to certain ones. I'm not a professional with mechanical keys and all that stuff. Uh, wireless connectivity, <coughs> apparently it does say it has Bluetooth. And I'll be honest with you, I don't have the instructions for that. And that's okay because my keyboard, my computer doesn't have Bluetooth. Believe it or not, my last one had Bluetooth built in. The, uh, the, uh, the card and everything that was necessary has Bluetooth. This one had a Bluetooth dongle. And let me tell you, it did not work that well. So I stopped using it and basically um, actually got this computer from the pawn shop, run super quiet, gave my other one to my wife. Way better than the one I'm currently using, but you live and learn, right? But at least she's happy and I'll eventually upgrade myself. Uh, system requirements, Windows RT, which is normally the Windows tablets, uh, 7, 8, 8.1 or RT 8.1. Now, what I want to say to you is that that's the rec minimum requirements to use this. I'm using Windows 10. I've tested this on other computers that have Windows 11, so it will work on any Windows software except for, because I haven't tried it, so I'm not gonna tell you guys that it'll work for it. I haven't tried XP, which I don't know why you still have it in its day and age. Uh, 8.1, I, I mean, that, you know how old that is? This, this has been out for a while. So the reason why the system requirements are so low right now is because this came out before Windows 10. It came out before Windows 11, so if it works for those, it's going to work for that. It's just a quick dongle. Software automatically installs for you. You're good to go. You don't have to go into any websites. You are good to go. Like I said, it has the on switch right here where it says uh, on switch, battery size, AAA, just two batteries. I can't tell you how long the batteries last because it's based on the movement of each person. But what I will say is, like I said, I had this for six, seven months, if not longer. I never turn it off when I use it. I always leave it in the on position and I have no issues whatsoever using the same batteries. I think they were Duracell or something, I don't remember. But the point is, is that it, it, it works very well. And I always keep a pack of batteries with me just in case. But luckily this mouse lasts 90 days. Well, technically it lasts longer than that with my usage, but again, to each their own. <clears throat> like I said, some people have these type of keyboards for traveling. No, I do have foldable keyboards that are actually for traveling, which is much easier to use. As a matter of fact, let me see if I can find it for you real fast before I end this video. So give me like 15 seconds or so. Uh, let's see. There it is. Gotcha. Let's see. Okay. So like I said, there are other keyboards out there that are smaller than this. So when you compare the size to this, right? And then you look at this, you're like, Ian, what is that? This keyboard actually opens up and it's like this, see? So this is more easier for travel and this is, I think this is an iClever, yep, an iClever keyboard. So I have keyboards for every single occasion. Different kinds that I just happen to come across in regular stores, pawn shops, I love tech in general and I like doing these type of videos. So with that being said, um, let's just go back to my regular camera and see if this product is actually worth purchasing. Let me stop the video right here. I keep forgetting that I'm recording. All right, guys, so let me go ahead and say that, um, you know, some people always ask me, is it worth it? Now, I'm gonna give you my opinion based on my actual usage of this keyboard. Every so often I stop using it, like when I do other keyboard reviews, then I use those keyboards for months at a time. And even though I like other keyboards with the trackpad, like when you spin the trackpad and things like that, I always end up coming to keyboards like this. And the reason being is sometimes you just want desk space. So like I said, I have this, I have many different types of uh, maps, like, like not maps, but the uh, the mats right here, different ones, Mario, Venom, different stuff right here, which just needs to be cleaned. I have this right here. This is my near autonomous <laughs> little mouse pad. But anyway, the point is, is that I like the keyboard a lot. I think it's pretty good. I think it works very well. It does the job that it needs to do. It's simple, it's not the most beautiful thing in the world, but it is very uh, a nice, clean, plastic finish. It looks very professional, in my opinion, and it's just it's my go-to regular. And so with this one I was telling you about, which is much smaller and can fit inside your book bag if you compare it to the size of this, you just pop these up 
as you can see these little pieces before you open it and then boom this works for you now the difference between this one is that this is a legitimate bluetooth keyboard that has three bluetooth options right here that you connect to ios android windows and then you switch to bluetooth so you could just simultaneously this has like i think it's called multi-pairing or whatever it's called where you can switch between whatever device that you want so if you switch it over to one you already know that when you close it back up you open back up it'll still open up to that it'll still connect to that device until you switch it over from here so very convenient very very convenient but this is a full bluetooth model which is not something that i necessarily suggest if you aren't a person that cares too much about bluetooth because at the most crucial times depending if you have software issues or whatever it is sometimes bluetooth devices drop same with dongles or same with anything that you plug into usb if they fail but uh it, it's less often to happen especially if you're just using your computer for just everyday use but with that being said um yes it is worth 30 dollars. i like it it's worth 40 if you decide to get that two year um leave two me two year protection plan but i don't get protection plans on my stuff that's just cheap it's only 30 bucks so if something was to happen to this let's be real here i can go to the store spend another 30 bucks get a replacement i don't have a waiting time i don't have to go to the geek squad i don't have to deal with any of that this is cheap this is affordable and it works so for you people out there that may say you know what i need something that i want to plug up to my tv some people have computers hooked up to their tvs you can just put your feet up on the couch and then just use a trackpad and just move around. And it may not be the most ideal compared to a mouse, but it is smooth, it is responsive, it works well. I showed you guys in real time. So it's, it's an absolute go for me. Like and subscribe like always, and I'll see y'all in the next video.